All right, your next comedian coming to the stage. Very excited to have her on the show. Please put your hands together for Laura DeBar. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So whenever I hear somebody say, lower the bar, I hear my name, Laura DeBar. So I decided this should be my motto for living. Because these men's of people who hang out at Ivy League campuses are so stupid, bragging about their high IQs. I mean, if you run around telling people you have an IQ of 145, then everybody's always going to expect a lot out of you. But if you're like me, and you tell people you have an IQ of 85, then everything you do, people just find amazing. People say, did you see what Laura DeBar did today? She got dressed. All by herself. Her shoes were not even Velcro. So do we have any cat owners in the audience tonight? Cat people? Because I happen to be a professional cat sitter. And have you ever heard of a dog whisperer? Yeah, yeah that's not me. <laughs> Dogs are so needy. If I meet a guy who has a dog, I'm like, never mind, you already have a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, dogs get jealous, too, when you're fucking, right? They start whining, they jump up and down the bed. They are total cockwalkers. You know what a cat does when you're fucking? Nothing. <laughs> They're like, oh, good for you. And then leave the room. They leave the room. <laughs> I identify as a feline. My pronouns are here kitty kitty <laughs> and pretty girl. I only have sex with male humans. But afterwards, I prefer to only cuddle with cats <laughs> of either gender. Does that make me feel I'm fluid? <laughs> and I don't mean cat pits. <laughs> I notice a lot of dog owners, I always refer to their dogs as rescues, where other pet owners don't seem to refer to their animals as rescues as often. I mean, imagine if I got an aquarium and I invited some friends over, and I was like, hey, everybody, this is Terrence, my rescue trout. <laughs> Terrence was thrown out of his school, <laughs> and he didn't have any family. So I rescued him. I'm Terrence's hero. I'll post, I'll post pictures on Instagram of me and Terrence taking a bubble bath. <laughs> Watching The Bachelor. <laughs> Hashtag who saved who. <laughs> because when I look deeply into Terrence's eyes, sometimes I just, I don't know. I don't know who saved who. <laughs> so I've been seeing these bumper stickers as they turn on to Jesus. And you know, I think I have turned on to Jesus. I mean, that loincloth? Those abs? I stopped thinking, what would Jesus do? And I started thinking, what would I do to Jesus? <laughs> so I googled Jesus porn. <laughs> so much negativity. I mean, it was just a bunch of angry Christians telling me Jesus hates porn. Uh, what? How did they know? Jesus loves everybody in all positions. <laughs> so I'm, I'm writing my own Jesus porn. Apocalypse-torn New York City, and then in walks Jesus Christ through the rubble and despair. And of course there's going to be people who think he came back to save them, but Jesus will be like, no, man, I just, I just came back to get some, okay? <laughs> he has a foursome with a couple prostitutes and a nun. And remember that Michael Jackson video from the 80s, black, white, where Michael transformed from black guy to a white guy, Indian guy, and so on. That's what Jesus does when he fucks you. Because he transforms to every man, because having sex with Jesus is like sliding down a happy rainbow of cock. <laughs> so I'm going to be pitching this to Hollywood Studios soon, and thinking of potential titles like Mood Testament. <laughs> 
second coming. It's a work in progress. I'm Laura DeBar. Thanks for listening. Who else? Anyone want to invest? <laughs>